From an extremely special octopus to creepy looking sharks, I'm Bob from World 5 List and here are 9 bizarre creatures that live in the deepest place on earth, the Mariana Trench. Number 9. The Dumbo Octopus now I find this one to be appropriate to start with because of the arrival of the live action Dumbo trailer. And sure enough, when you look at the Dumbo octopus, it doesn't exactly look real, does it? It actually looks like a cartoonist creation, something that he would draw for a family film or television show, and yet the Dumbo octopus is very real and holds the distinction of being the deepest dwelling octopus in the world. Now, if you're curious as to why this adorable creature is called Dumbo, it's because of the ears, which are flappy and reminiscent of the legendary Disney elephant. Going back to the creature itself, there are many interesting things about the Dumbo octopus. For example, it has a wide range of size. On average, it's between 8 inches and a foot long, and yet one was found to be over 6 feet long. That's quite a jump. Also, you may think this cute octopus isn't very aggressive, but you'd be wrong. In fact, not only are they known to be fierce, they actually swallow their prey whole. Here's a Disney lesson you should remember. Never judge a book by its cover. Number 8. The Barrel Eye Fish now, what does it take to survive at the bottom of the Mariana Trench? Well, it seems to be the ability to evolve and become what you need to be. While the barrel eye fish is definitely that, you have to wonder how exactly it evolved into what it is now. Just take a look at the thing. Your eyes are not playing tricks on you. This is a fish with a transparent head. And why is that? Well, it's speculated that it allows the fish to catch light, which is a precious commodity at the bottom of the ocean. And because of its extra light, it's able to spot things and survive. Speaking of spotting things, the reason this fish has its name is because of its literal barrel-shaped eyes. Oddly enough, however, the eyes are often pointed directly upwards so that it can see through its skull. This is so that it can see shadows of prey and predators. Because it lives so deep in the ocean, scientists haven't been able to study the barrel eye fish like they want to. In fact, an early attempt to bring one to the surface actually resulted in the fish being crushed by the change in pressure. Science has a lot of questions about the unique fish, but they're going to have to take their time and study it carefully. Number 7. The Giant Toxic Amoeba Now, just about all creatures on my list are multi-celled organisms, which is fair because single-celled organisms are rarely of note in cases like this. However, in the Mariana Trench, there's an exception, and that exception is a group of giant toxic amoeba. Now, when I say giant, I actually should preface that with the mention that I mean giant for its species. Many single-celled organisms aren't viewable by the human eye or are just small enough to not notice. But here, with these giant toxic amoeba, they actually average a length of about 4 inches long. For an amoeba, that's pretty huge, especially in this deep water. What's even more impressive is that the amoeba are abundant in the trench. They're in fact the most abundant of the 200 confirmed species that live within its depths, which is very interesting. Oh, and as noted, they are toxic, so if you ever come across any, you'll want to be very careful. But first, be sure to subscribe to World 5 List, because you don't want to miss out on my latest videos, do you? Number 6. Benthocodon now, it shouldn't be too much of a surprise that there are jellyfish in the Mariana Trench, but what should be a surprise is the look of this one, because it's not your typical jellyfish, and yet its uniqueness makes it stand out. For example, while many jellyfish like to swim around in open water, this one actually likes it at the bottom of the ocean floor, which makes the Mariana Trench a perfect home for it. Furthermore, the shape and size isn't like a whole lot of jellyfish. It's more compact, one with a bell-shaped top. Furthermore, instead of having a set of long tentacle stingers, it actually has thousands of tentacles wrapping around its body, which makes it easy to catch prey regardless of the direction it's swimming in. 
Just as surprising is the color, jellyfish being usually transparent, but this jellyfish is red, and scientists say there's no distinct reason. Yet another mystery that resides at the bottom of the ocean. Number 5. The Anglerfish Arguably the most famous of all creatures within the trench, the anglerfish is a brilliant hunter that is scary to boot. Ironically enough, the anglerfish also goes by the name Sea Devil, which is appropriate given its looks and teeth. This thing is a monster in more ways than one, with a weird looking body and teeth that are huge and sharp, and the way that it looks at you? Ugh. However, its defining feature is its lure, a protrusion that comes out of the body and glows like a lamp. It uses this light to bring in unsuspecting fish, and once they're close enough, it lunges out and chomps down. I don't think that's where the creepiness ends, however, because you see, an anglerfish is typically female and can grow up to 8 inches long. The male, though, only grows up to 1 inch long and will actually fuse itself with the female to somehow become a single entity. Now, I'm really glad that it lives at the bottom of the ocean. How about you? Number 4. The Frilled Shark There are going to be two sharks on my list, and each of them are very different from other sharks. I begin with the frilled shark, which doesn't look like a shark at all. It looks like an eel in some ways, and it's still very much a shark. The reason it looks like an eel is because of its rounded body, yet when you look at its head, it looks like something from an ancient beast. Add to that its six rows of gills and 20 rows of teeth, and you don't want to be on its food list. Just as interesting, the frilled shark actually likes to reside at the bottom of the ocean, and previous attempts to capture one and examine it have caused it to die near immediately. The frilled shark only grows to about 6 feet long, but that's still pretty big. One of the bigger mysteries about this shark, however, is how it hunts. Because of its unique shape, scientists are baffled as to whether or not it strikes like an eel or like a shark, and as of now, no answers can be found. Number 3. The Deep Sea Dragonfish There are a lot of deep sea fish that use cunning techniques to get food, but when it comes to the deep sea dragonfish, this is in a league of its own. It may be only about 6 inches long, however, the deep sea dragonfish lives deep in the bottom of the Mariana Trench and can go as low as 6,000 feet below the surface. They're made to survive and have plenty of tricks to help them do that. For example, like many creatures in the trench, deep sea dragonfish are bioluminescent, meaning they can glow from certain parts of their body. However, something that's unique to the fish alone is that it can glow red, and that's very special. In fact, nobody's really sure as to why it's able to do this, but it can. And furthermore, the deep sea dragonfish will use its bioluminescence and its red glowing ability to communicate with others just like it, or to camouflage itself with the surrounding environment. Finally, when it comes to hunting, it uses a long protrusion to lure in other fish. They think they've found something to eat, and yet they're the ones who are on the menu. That's when it lunges out with blinding speed to get its meal, and then quickly goes back into hiding. Number 2. The Ghost Fish If there's one thing that the Mariana Trench has proven over and over again, it's that we don't really know everything that lives in our world, and that goes double for its oceans. Case in point, in 2014, a new special species of snailfish would be discovered in the trench, and what's more, this special fish wasn't like most snailfish. It was a lot deeper than any fish that had been found. Well, it was about 5 miles below sea level, really, and that's deep. As for how it was found, it was filmed on camera during an exploration of the trench, yet because it was only caught for a brief moment, there's still a lot of questions as to what it truly is and how it survives down there. So because of its appearance and mystery, it's been dubbed the Ghost Fish. Attempts are currently being made to capture one and then study it. And number 1. Sharks 
It's pretty scary when a shark has two different names, yet either are scary enough on their own. The goblin or vampire shark is one of the most interesting things that you're going to find at the bottom of the trench, mainly because this being is said to have lived for millions of years, species-wise anyway. They're believed to be so old, in fact, that some scientists refer to them as living fossils. What's more, the goblin or vampire shark is a horror to behold. I mean, just look at the thing. Are you seriously not freaked out by it? Because I am. And if the Dumbo octopus was something made in the mind of a cartoonist, this looks like something made by a horror movie director like Stephen King or H.P. Lovecraft. And it certainly lives up to its scary reputation as well. That's because that elongated nose that it has is full of electromagnetic sensors, which can detect even the smallest discharge of electricity, such as in a prey's brain. So when it does find food, it's not only going to lock on, but actually extend its mouth from its body and chomp down on its foe. And last but certainly not least, the shark is stated to be about 10 feet long on average, which is pretty decent sized for a predator in the trench. However, they could be much bigger, as there are very few of them still around, and they're hard to find because they live at the bottom of the world. Thanks for watching! What did you think of these creatures? And let me know in the comments below your thoughts on the trench. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time on World 5.